Yes, it's yet another video. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2. Uh, this is a later Plus 2. It's a Plus 2B. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, it says Made in China on it. Um, that shows it's a later one. The earlier Plus 2 and Plus uh, 2A were both made in Taiwan. Um, this is a very late one, probably from around 1988-89. They stopped making the thing in 1990. Uh, this is one that's made by Amstrad. It's very similar to a CPC in what it looks like and the internal um, stuff. Uh, essentially, what uh, Amstrad did when they redesigned with this was they added the tape drive. Uh, they also reduced the chip count inside. Um, by integrating quite a lot of them, putting in a larger memory chip which made it cheaper for, uh, for them to produce. Uh, in some respects this is better than uh, the original uh, Sinclair um, Spectrum. Uh, in other respects it's not as good. Um, the main advantage is, is you get a proper keyboard on it, plus you get 128 kilobytes of RAM instead of 15, sorry, 16 or 48. Um, so taking a look at the outside, obviously you've got um, full size keyboard, um, tape player with record, uh, play, uh, rewind, fast forward, eject and pause. Um, on this side you've got two controller inputs. That was one main disadvantage to the original Spectrum uh, is the fact that um, you couldn't put joystick uh, us on without buying an, expen uh, an expansion unit. Got a reset button there, which is something the, uh, the Commodore 64 doesn't have. You've got um, sound input uh, for a tape drive. So if you wanted to um, record to a tape or you wanted to use an external one, uh, you've got, uh, because we're in Europe, uh, UHF output. Uh, that's an RGB one, can go to SCART, um, the auxiliary input, that's for a light gun, that's a MIDI input, uh, that's the expansion slot, so you can use pretty much any Sinclair Spectrum uh, unit, or even some ZX81 ones, PSU, printer. One thing about this is there's no power switch on the unit itself, or the power supply, so you have to turn it off at the socket which may be a bit irritating for some, but there's nothing on that side. Um, says use only Sinclair joysticks, I'm not sure whether that's true or not. uses the same DB9 uh, connector as Antari uh, 2600 or uh, Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on wherever you live, uh, does. So just take a quick... Okay. So just remove the power um, for the tape drive, uh, which is also probably the data connector. Um, so, looking at the inside of it, um, first thing is the uh, Zilog Z80A CPU. Um, Obviously that's uh, fairly important. Um, and then the other ones, uh, things like the sound and graphics chips are out of uh, a, a CPC 464 I believe. Um, you can actually see here um, that it says 1990 uh, issue 4 so this is a very very late spectrum they stopped making this in uh, 1990 um, which again you can see uh, that it's made by Amstrad instead of Sinclair um, and again it is very similar to a uh, 464 I don't have one that I could compare it to uh, but it's a very similar machine. Um, be following this video up with uh, some showing some games and things. Uh, 
these don't fall prey to the same issues like the earlier Spectrums did with their rubber keyboards because this has got no membrane underneath it. Uh, also these were slightly more reliable because there was no, not so many issues. Um, basically just a brief bit of the Sinclair timeline. Uh, the uh, the Plus 2 came in the late 80s, um, basically to update the Spectrum line. It's essentially a Spectrum 128K with a disk drive attached. The 128K was the third revision of the Spectrum. Um, the first one, which is the most compact one, didn't have the uh, joystick inputs or the... Um, it didn't uh, have the uh, reset button, I don't think it obviously didn't have the tape drive built in, it also only had 14 or uh, 48 kilobytes of RAM uh, instead of having 128, uh, then there's the Sinclair Spectrum Plus, that's the last one engineered by uh, Sinclair before. Uh, they got bought out by Amstrad in 1985. Um, and there is some compatibility issues as a result because, again, this is, bait, uh, this is very um, different internally from the earlier Spectrums because, again, of the reduced chip count uh, with Amstrad cutting costs. Although, that said, uh, Spec Sinclair themselves did cut costs by using faulty 64 kilobyte chips for the RAM instead of using uh, 32 kilobyte ones. Um, so, um, so the 16K model has um, one 32K chip in, only address addressing four of sorry four of the five bits on the input. Um, So again, um, uh, you can uh, again, it's a black colour instead of the grey like uh, the original Plus Two was. Uh, so that's just a short overview of the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus Two B.